So now let's look at exercise and how it inf influences this system. So there is some popular trend that exercise is just not that important for, for weight loss. And it actually, and it, the results have been disappointing in some ways because it's true that exercise doesn't support weight loss very readily, all right? But it's doing some other very, very, very important things, okay? So, oh, okay, exercise, in, let's say I'm going to advance too much. Okay, exercise in lean people does not affect these appetite promoting or appetite um, suppressing neuron groups in the hypothalamus. It doesn't affect them directly. Okay? However, in obese, it does. It does affect them directly. All right? So in the obese, it actually, oh, by the way, and I'll go back. So all of this, excuse me. It doesn't really affect food intake directly from in, the, in a lean person. But in an, ob an obese person, it actually can suppress hyperphagia, this, this overeating that is stimulated by this broken brain. Okay? And it, how does it do it? Well, like fat cells that release hormones, adipokines, muscle tissue can release myokines. And we know that one prominent myokine that is released from exercising is something called interleukin-6. Now this, you see it both in the body and in the brain. Releasing of IL-6 will stimulate an anti-inflammatory factor, interleukin-10, all right? And this has the exact effect that you would want to see. It suppresses this central inflammatory pathway, it suppresses markers of damage, and it increases and it maintains signaling, proper um, signal transduction for both insulin and for leptin. Okay, so exercise, you could say, becomes even more critical once you, once you are obese. All right, and this is a quote from this article. Physical activity could help to reorganize the set point of nutritional balance and therefore aid in counteracting the energy imbalance induced by overnutrition through the anti-inflammatory response in hypothalamic neurons. 